I'm Monica Valentine and this is Entertaining LA and here's what's coming up on today's episode. On this episode of Entertaining LA, we are going to be going to Irwindale, California to check out the Fiesta Parade Association, to go behind the scenes and check out the floats being prepared for the upcoming 2020 Tournament of Roses Parade. Next on Entertaining LA. I'm Monica Valentine and this is Entertaining LA, a show where we check out events, concerts, and festivities across Southern California. I want to say thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. I also want to wish you all a happy new year, happy 2020. So for those of you who have been checking out my website, monicavalentine.net, as well as my social media pages, I have been going around Southern California, checking out different events and activities for you to check out during the holidays. And I also checked out things few days before the new year for those of you who checked out my social media pages so if you have not you can check out my website monicavalentine.net they got links there where you can click on there and you can just automatically go to the page so let's get started with the new episode I just want to say a couple shout outs I want to say um, congratulations to my sister she recently got engaged so I want to say thank I just want to say congratulations to my sister Jennifer and her beloved fiance Molly I hope they have a blessed marriage and the second one I just want to say thank you for all your love and support over the holidays I just have a couple new subscribers to my YouTube channel I just want to say welcome aboard and for those of you that have been with me over the years I just want to say thank you for coming back and let's get started with the new season as well as the new year so I went to a new place last year I went to Sierra Madre Association and I want to say thank you so much for your kind support Sierra Madre Association thank you for the likes thank you for the support and I just want to say thank you for viewers that also commented on my other social media pages about it. So I decided to go to another place. Now this place was a little bit bigger than Sierra Madre Associated because there was over five floats being decorated at that particular place. It was in Irwindale, California. It was an association, it's called the Fiesta Parade Association. Now this place had a lot of people volunteering and also the designers that was finishing up the final touches of the actual float but it takes about an entire year of planning designing structuring and over hundreds maybe thousands of volunteers that come all year round to design the float so I got together with a couple people and they explained how the float is created so here it is Fiesta Parade Association in Irwindale California it's that time of year again for the annual Tournament of Roses Parade. This time, Entertaining LA has went to Irwindale, California to the Fiesta Parade Association to check out the behind the scenes look of how the Tournament of Roses Parade floats are being prepared and getting ready for the big day. The Fiesta Prey Floats Association had over 11 floats from different cities and organizations that is taking part of the 2020 Tournament of Roses Parade. Hundreds of volunteers throughout the entire year participated as they created paper mache artifacts, mounted three dimensional figures or scenes together in order to create beautiful floats that rotates, bends, Each float contains over thousands of flowers as well as other materials such as nuts, bolts, berries, plastic fruits, ornaments, and so on. Before the flowers and objects are in place, 
The float has to be created first by designers that make a blueprint of the float based upon a certain theme, followed by building a carcass that holds the float in place in which welders and decorators can add the finishing touches. Okay, and can you just explain to me about the um, float and what's the inspiration behind it? Sure, so the UPS store float this year is titled Stories Change Our World. And it ties nicely with the free theme of hope. We're in support of the Toys for Tots literacy program. Okay. And so through the power of literacy, stories can change our world. Okay. And on the float this year, you're going to see the largest variety of tropical foliage oh. of any other float in the parade. Okay. Uh, we have more than 100,000 flowers that will be on our float this year when it's all said and done. Okay. So we have flowers from South America, uh, we have Costa Rica, Hawaii. Uh, more than 25,000 roses will be mm -hmm. on the float. Oh, okay. And we have more than 25 varieties of the tropical flowers. Is that that post parade? Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. So three winning young authors had their stories published in the book. Oh, you did? Okay. That's good. We'll be giving out 10,000 copies of this book at the post parade event at Pasadena High School. Mm -hmm. It's getting down to the wire, but it seems like the volunteers have everything in order. So, I guess it's going to be a great day at the 2020 Tournament of Roses Parade. Association, uh, checking out the volunteers, see how they did little bits and pieces and how they uh, attached that lizard. You see that lizard in the butterfly? That was so beautiful. And also meeting new people and checking out how they create the floats. So if you want more information about that association, you can check out the website and you can also check out, see what they have planned for next year as well. If you want to volunteer, you can go to the website. And I want to say thank you so much for their association, Fiesta Parade Association, for letting me film at their location. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to me on my YouTube channel, and make sure you follow me on my other social media channels. I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.